Hey there, you doers. Have you ever had the check engine light come on and then you take it to the dealer and they pull the codes? Well, this is a device called an OBD2, D2, which is a onboard diagnostic instrument, which is used to do just that, pull the codes to understand what the, that five alphanumeric code means uh, that you know what's going on with your vehicle and they're able to look up and diagnose the problem and so the one i use is an innova 3020 this is an older model this is a 3020d and there's also one out called the 3020rs however um, i find that this innova is very straightforward for my use and it serves its purpose also let me just show you how to use it basically it consists of the obd device itself and so this plug attaches into a plug below your dashboard. Uh, you, usually that's where it's located. It's called a d data link connector or DLC. And for me, it's over here on this side. In my other vehicle, it's over here to the left. If you look underneath the dashboard, you can see my data link connector. And you can see it's the same shape as my connector from my OBD D2. You just gotta line it up. As you can see, it's not exactly a rectangle. So you just gotta line up your port, your connector to that. So I gotta flip this over and simply connects like this. You don't have to push very hard. It'll just slide in once it's lined up. I don't ever generally hear a snapping noise. So it just, it just stays in place. And what you'll notice that the device is powered on. And so it's trying to connect to my vehicle, but the vehicle's not on. So let me turn the vehicle on. You may have a key, so you just turn to the on position, but I just push my start button twice. I don't actually turn the vehicle on itself. I don't turn the engine on. That's not needed. So let's see what happens now. I got an error code. So what do you do when you get an error code? Just make sure that it's plugged in properly. I'm gonna do that. Just make sure it's in connected properly. And I look again and it's reading. So we just wait a moment. See it's blinking faster. It stops. Clean this off a bit. Okay, there you go. And so the way that the that the the Innova works is that it's pretty much all on one screen. So there, I got a green light. And so the Nova has these three lights here, a green, a yellowish, and a red light. And green means everything's good. Ye yellow means there's something going on. You check out it. Red means something you need to really handle. And zero DTC means there's no, there's no codes. So what, so that's good. If there was a code, I would push DTC and it's not going to do anything because I don't have a code. So that's a good thing. If, it, if for example, your check engine light comes on, it'll probably pull a code, which is a five-digit lettered uh, diagnostic code. For example, P0440 you know, or something like that. I don't know if that's a real code, but each, each part means something. And then you can look that up on Google, um, or other search engine. The other thing I like about the Innova is the IM monitor status all on the same screen. You're off to flip screens. And what those circles represent is the status of each of the monitors. So as you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and some of them are not supported by your vehicle. So if one of them, it, but if one of them is not ready, so say for example my oxygen sensor is not ready, it would start blinking. And well, this sometimes occurs if you unplug the battery, for example, or you're, you lose power to your battery. On other OBDs, you'll find that you have to go to different screens. This one doesn't have real-time data, where if you drive your vehicle around, it'll show you, for example, the RPMs and, and other uh, other information about your engine. I don't need that. I like the fact that it's just simple. I don't have to scroll. It tells me everything I need. So for me, the benefit of this was to help me pass my emissions. And I really like this this device. Anova has other ones that are 
more expensive and have a lot more features. This one's very basic, it's an older model. Again, the 3020D. And you can find, I think, the RS as well now that connects to an app. Um, this is just a handy thing to keep around. Check engine light comes on, you can get a coat, you can pull the coat yourself. And so you can shop around, look at different different types, and you know get all the features that you want. All right, be safe when you're driving, and if you like this video, please subscribe and like this video. Thanks.